Hey guys, what's up? It's your friend Keith here with Mr. Colin Parks hey. of Devil Mint and Ghost of Atlantis here in the world famous Essex Recording Studios just outside London in South End on Sea, England, baby. And Colin, man, you've got a super cool guitar in here today, dude. Tell us about this thing. It's a comparison through and through. Um, it's um, the Tat Special. Yeah, Tat Special. Um, they're great guitars. I mean, they're the ones that you see the the um, Adam from Killswitch playing. Um, I've been playing these now for a good four or five years live. Um, this one I had done by Ataru uh, maybe three or four years ago. And, and it's, it's got your got Devil the, Mint um, custom graphic there the Mint, under yeah. the lacquer. It's beautiful, dude. That's right. So this is a, a, a one of one, so to speak, really. Um, 27 frets. 27 frets, ebony boards. And comparison uh, hand-wound custom shop pickups. It's their mm -hmm. own. It's got the um, the comparison clock inlays. Oh. Pearl. Is that what it is? So got one. Oh, three, my three, God. Three. I never I never clocked it. Ha! Mm -hmm. Pun intended. I never realized that these are clock inlays. Oh, I love the brand even more now. It's got the abalone around the mother of pearl as well. So that's a nice little touch. The craftsmanship on them are really good. Um, I mean, they are, in my opinion, one of the best metal guitars um, in the world, <clears throat> to be honest with you. Uh, um, if they're good enough for Kill Switch Engage, good enough for me, man. Yeah, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. The, the um, English band called um, Bleed From Within have just signed a new deal with them as well. Oh, nice. Um, and they're a really good up-and-coming band. Um, but people who... Who know what comparisons are they know what they are and they're probably gonna know this guitar as well so. yeah man i like the uh the rotary dial like you said like the, the prs style yeah, yeah, thing so you there. can switch the free one you can obviously split the coils with the rotary like a prs um and yeah no it's um it's, it's a good guitar and it's um it's been it's been very good to me over the years um, i love it dude i'm i'm not i can't unsee it now i'm loving these clock inlays <laughs> it's the most brilliant thing ever that's it can you show us the back of it yeah yeah of course yeah <clears throat> So you got neck through, obviously five piece neck. I love how they smoke out the uh, like nice gradient on the finish as it eases into the natural. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, like I'm not a fan of glossy necks. Me I either. Like, I like natural necks. So. Yeah, and especially when we get sweat nice. on those glossy necks, they just get all sticky and. It's, it's, it's strange actually because if you actually feel it, yeah, it, it's actually gloss and it blends into wood. It's, oh, it's the mad. It's literally mad how they. Oh it. yeah. Ah. That's very very cool. It is. It's got almost like if you look at the old eighties. Uh, San Dimas Jackson neck heels where they they kind of come up this way I can see influence from that and I think you were saying that actually the guy that founded the company did was head of Jackson in Japan Atari, for years yeah. yeah that's right yeah he was um, head of custom shop of Jackson for a long long time um the cutaway and stuff with the with the heel joint is you get so easy to everything oh yeah and it's it's tiny like very thin yeah very thin neck heel they're a good guitar. They're a really good guitar. It's, it's one that's going to be retired from playing live. I'm not. I'm not really going to be playing anything mega expensive live anymore. Um, just need to take some workhorse guitars out. Yeah, and start just, lighting them on fire on stage just, and stuff. Just change. Stuff. <laughs> and this, this was. This was really for me. Was um. Was my. Was for my Devilman era stuff. Um, and that is kind of ground to a halt for a little while anyway. So I'm going to be moving some some other stuff across for my new project, Ghost of Atlantis, which is um playing in a couple of weeks at bloodstock festival oh bloodstock's oh, awesome Sunday. um i can't say the time of the set yet because i'm not announced but it'll be in the evening so beautiful that'll be, man that'll be good um how about your other project that you were here for uh, you, uh, Monte. yeah man yeah, talk good. about that that's, that's going insane good. that's going real good so at the moment the books have just all finally got out of the californian port they've been in the port for seven weeks oh my god clear. just with all the covid backlog oh, and everything like backlog. that so the book has finally got through the through the um, through the port, and it's now getting out to all the retailers. The D and D game is about to launch very very shortly. The next single, which I recorded vocals for here with you, yeah, actually, right, right in that room over there, yeah, is going to be imminent. So within the next four weeks. Oh, let us know, man. We'll share it out everywhere. Sure. Um, and then there's another single coming after that. So things about to explode on that because it's um, when COVID broke. It was a case of we can either. Do what everyone else is doing, that's sit in the studio and, and work. Or we can sidestep it and start looking at the bigger picture. So they approach the gaming community, the RPG community. Yeah, man. And encompass the whole media rather than just music. Oh, and of course that community is very tied into metal. Yeah, big totally, time. Totally. Big time. So the plan is, is that we're hoping to get in 2022, once the travel restrictions are lifted with the States, we're hoping to fly 
and myself, I'm hoping to fly out there, meet the guys, and do the Comic Cons out there. So that's oh, what you're gonna have so much fun out I there, hope so, man. Yeah, man. So. Oh. Dude, that's gonna be great. And I mean, mm. that band, you've done a phenomenal job throughout your career of building hype and 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 having just big things happen around the bands that you get involved with, whether it's getting Danny Filth involved with your Devilment project, or hey, you're you're playing Bloodstock on this brand new Ghost of Atlantis project. I mean, Slipknot featured you on, on their site. Amazing. And then with, with the, the band we were just discussing, I can, I, I'm never sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Say it again. Is it Diamante? Diamante. Di Diamante. Oh, Diamante. Diamante. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. them, I mean, one of the, one of the things I'm, I'm so impressed by with this is obviously with artists, especially artists like yourself on the musicianship side of things, you guys, like you've been playing for years. You've got it down pat. You've nailed it. What's very, very difficult to do for all artists, no matter how, how well you can play guitar, is the, the hype side and the music business side. And what you guys did with that band with Kickstarter is insane. I think you guys like broke records on that. Yeah, it went crazy. I think it was um, $140,000 it raised. It raised one hundred forty grand, but it was like they, you got, they had a ten grand uh, a goal yeah, yeah. and it got met in like seven minutes it's mad. It's it's mad. completely now that to me tells me that's a that's a band that's going places yeah. obviously i mean we've got we've got a really good team so we've got rick hines who does a lot of the writing for the book and stuff and he's he's a really phenomenal writer um drake mefesta who's the what would be the production manager who oversees everything and he's actually singing as well he plays one of the characters called um characters called lacra um he's also overseen everything and he's worked like Bone, like just grafting all the time, all the time, night and day. Like, because obviously he's in America on different time zones, yeah. We'll speak to each other, even if he's like two in the morning, he's like, just call me, I don't care what time it is, he'll drag his ass out of bed. <laughs> nice, and we'll just start the bit, you know, talking business stuff in the middle of the night. Because in the modern metal scene and music scene, you just got a you can't sleep because if you sleep, you're missing opportunities to work. I hear you, man, and that is how it is, and it sucks, but it is how it is. It's very saturated now. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of people out there wanting to do well. and when you've got things like home studios are getting better. Yeah. You know, people are, it's, the, the scene is changing. Like everything's changing. You need content all the time. If for sure. Look, if you look at the um, the rapper Tom McDonald, for yeah. instance, it's just content, 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 content. He's got a new video like every other week and he's blowing up and the numbers are like millions and millions. It's wild. So it's I mean, crazy. some people wait for success to happen and sometimes you, you just got to create your own success. You, yeah, you got to just work. do it yourself. It's got to work. That's awesome, man. And I'm gonna have a little peek over here. This is your Scott Dixon case, right? Yeah. These yeah. things are you were showing me. They're so light. It looks like it weighs, you know, it looks like something that weighs a hundred pounds. And it's like four kilos it's empty. Ridiculous. Oh man. That's been all over. It's been all over the place. It's been thrown around by luggage handlers. Um, Scott Dixon have been an absolutely phenomenal company. Um, they've supported me since my days in a band called Conflict Within, um, and they've been they've been brilliant. So yeah, I mean, man. Whatever hole, whatever comes next in terms of guitars i'm going to start playing for the new project and stuff that will 100 percent be in there I, even if it's a different shape guitar whatever i will be using a scott dixon case exciting for, dude because i don't trust anything else so so where can people find you online now what's what's the socials website or facebook yeah, what we got so got ghost of atlantis official.com okay um obviously there's devilman facebook there's diamorte um diamorte.com or the red opera.com which is obviously the that's a D&D campaign, right? Yeah, the Red Opera. It's yeah. The first album as well. Um, we're now working on album two, so that's happening. Um, and that's that's about it. And obviously you've got my usual Instagram and Facebook stuff, just Colin Parks or Parks Colin. Or, there we go. You know. Colin Parks, the man, the myth, yeah. the legend. The Wally. Yes. <laughs> Here at Essex Recording Studios. Dude, thank you so much for coming in. Oh. Guys, hit like, hit subscribe on the video. Follow our socials at Essex Recording Studios. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for hanging out. More good stuff coming your way soon. Be on the lookout. And if you're in the UK and happen to be able to get the blood stock, you will see this guy here shredding away. You shall. All right. Later, guys. Take care.